Hey guys, Dustin with the Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Today I'm joined by Glenn. This is take number three on the intro, so hopefully it works. Uh, <laughs> we are back with another episode of the tier list. So that's where we take certain generations of trucks and rate them on our tier list uh, from S tier all the way down to F tier. Uh, pretty simple stuff. Have you ever done this before? This is the first time. Let's go. Let's go. Should be fun. Before we do that, if you need wheels, tires, suspension, bumpers, lighting, rock lights, uh, tail lights, bed covers, uh, performance parts, we got it all at customoffsets.com. Seriously, we have a ton of stuff. And we like to modify trucks too, so you know, it's cool. Hell yeah. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, so do you know how this works? Kinda. Okay, so I'm gonna read off a prompt, right? Today we're going over diesel engines. Uh, we have 12 of them, I believe. And then we're gonna put, I'm gonna say three, two, one, just like we do in a From the Gallery. And then we're gonna assign or say what category we put them in. Obviously S tier is the best and then A, B, C, D, E, F, yep. right? So it's pretty simple. We've done a couple of these before. They're usually a lot of fun because Usually what happens is either we're really aligned or we're really not aligned, and yep. it makes for some great conversation. I got my list ready to go. Any questions? I'm, let's do it. All right, I'm gonna pull my notes up here and we are going to get started. All right, Glenn, let's start with the 12 valve, five, nine Cummins. Oh, that's easy. Three, two, one, A. A. Yep. Damn. Exactly. Okay. I love the 12 valve. The 12 valve is simple. I love 12 valves because at the end of the day, you can run them off of like three wires, like a power or ground and a key switch. Yep. And it, it takes nothing. They swap into anything. They run forever and they're just damn dependable. You oh, know? 100%. And like the 12 valve, I've never met a person that said they hated their 12 valve Cummins. I mean, they're, they, they run forever. It's, yeah. They're, they're a great reputation, very reliable engine. It's and they sound right. nice. Sound nice with a straight pipe. I mean, it's, it's a Cummins, right? So it's just loud. Yep. And not as refined as like a V8, but that's okay, because that's why we love Cummins. You know, it's, it's simple. Hell yeah. All right, up next, 24 valve, 5.9 Cummins. All right. Wait, I, I read it and I didn't look at my notes to see where I ranked it. I already know where this one ranked. All right, three, two, one, A. B. Whoa, two A's in a row, yep. Glenn. So I put the 12 valve and 24 valve together. I I know there's a little bit of a difference there, but both very well known engines to be very reliable. Everyone raves about the old Cummins. So I, I put it up at, you know, that A spot. Yeah, I just put them in the B spot because they came in the second gen. <laughs> <laughs> Not a second gen guy, I'm sorry. Oh, did I just, Ryan, did I hit that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Wait, hold on. Hello, can you hear me? <laughs> All right, well, well, back to the second gens. Some of the early um, second gens did We're come with 12 the 12 valves, valves yep, so it's 50-50 there. I just, I'm not a huge second gen guy, and I, I know that that's probably gonna get me roasted in the comment mm -hmm. section. Yep, because, roast him below. Because <laughs> the second gen is like the, the holy grail to some guys, and I get that, and that's cool. The, the 24 valves were good engines, I just, I put them below the 12 valves because I like the 12 valves more. They're a little bit simpler. They're easier to swap into stuff. I don't know, you know. They are definitely simpler. Potato, tomato. Yep. It's, it's the same thing. All right, let's round out the field. I, I, did I mess it up again? Oh, you're good. All right, good. Let's round out the field with the last Cummins we're gonna talk about today, the six, seven. Three, two, one, A. a. What? <laughs> How many A's do you have? All the Cummins. <laughs> Dude, people are gonna love this. Just wait for the comments. If you rated all of these trucks in A tier, I'm gonna be really <laughs> mad. Nope, just the Cummins. Oh my God. So apparently Glenn is a huge Cummins guy. Dude, they're supposed to be like the best. The six sevens are pretty baller. Transmissions are junk, but They've the engine better. is great. No, They've gotten nope. better. I still wouldn't go to. Oh, I would buy a fifth gen six seven in a heartbeat. Whew. Sign me up. Feel like warranty work. Okay, listen, <laughs> listen. Listen, Mr. Dooley. Yo, listen, Linda. Guy. Listen, Linda. Keep her moving into the power strokes. Which ones? We're gonna start with the 7.3. We're Let's going in go. chronological order. Hell yeah. So, starting with the 7.3 power mm -hmm. stroke. Are you Let's ready? do it. Three, two, one. B. E? e? What? I said it. I said B. This I guy said is, it. This guy's nuts. I said it. Dude, the 7.3 is like the next best thing to a 12 valve for reliability. You're not gonna make big power, but the 7.3s, they're, they're a workhorse. Here's why I don't like the 7.3s. Unreal. You're unreal. Listen, here's why I don't like the 7.3. The 7.3 was a great engine in 1997. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. 2021. 
okay? Okay. You don't see guys 7.3 swapping all sorts of stuff, do you? No, that's why the 12 valve rated so high for me. The 7.3 was a great engine and it did a really good job. And Ford owned that market at that time. Between yep. the Cummins and the 7.3, they were the big <laughs> So yeah, I don't know, the 7.3, good trucks, great engines. They just, they made okay power. They got awful fuel economy, but for every, whatever reason, everybody just loves that truck. And it, it's just not worth the hype for me, man. I'm sorry. So it's overhyped it's in your person. It's overhyped, 100%. I can see that. I, I can see it, but I'm, I'm rating it on the reliability. Oh, it's there. I'm yeah. with you. We're, we're moving on. Next we're moving one. On. Next one. On to the oh, no. beloved. Oh, no. Ugly stepbrother of the 7.3, the six liter power stroke. Let's go. Three, two, one. E. e. How, how, how can B, you do B, the opposite? B, 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 this all day, every day. Listen, anyone Dude. that's watched the show for any amount of time knows that I had a six liter, right? Six liters to this day are one of the best bang for your buck trucks you can buy. Prove me wrong, right? So when you look at, I paid a lot of money for my LV. How many heads? Probably more. But hear me out. <laughs> you can buy a six liter right now with like 100,000 miles on it for 12 grand. Non-bulletproofed. Correct. You need a bulletproof. 6.0. So at 12 grand, you can pull the engine out of it, pay the five grand it takes to bulletproof and get it done really well, right? So you won't have any issues with it again. And for $17,000, you have a truck that's got half the miles of a, a Cummins or a Duramax equivalent. Right. You know, that's why I like the six liters. They sound fantastic because oh, yeah. VGT turbos are- They sound amazing. Ooh. The interiors were styled relatively well for the years that they, they were made. I, and it, I like it because it makes people mad. <laughs> I, I do like the sound of the 6.0s. There's a kid in high school that his dad had a dual stacked one. Ooh. It sounded like a freaking airplane every time he started at school. Uh -huh. And it's like, all right, that's the truck. But they go through heads if you don't right. bulletproof them. So there's, again, me rating on reliability. 6.0 <laughs> fell to the bottom. <laughs> hey, oh, 6.4 power stroke. Oh, yeah, this one's going to be up there. Three, two, one, F. F. <laughs> The 6.4 is like, so the 6 liter had some saving grace, right? There's still some guys like me, they're like, hey, yep. you're not so bad. The 6.4, <laughs> not. They're, they're really cool on the drag tracks when they're they built, are. but every run they break down and you got to take them back to the shop, pull the whole truck apart to just fix a part on the engine. Dude, 6.4s are like the least reliable Ford of all Motor time. Company was like, hey, what if, what if we took the unreliable 6.0 and made it worse? Yep. And the other guy's like, yeah, man, let's do it. Welcome I, to the 6 4. Uh, I'd say F stands for fail. That's yeah, the 6 4. I mean, it, uh, and I know a guy that's got one, and. We all do. It, it ran okay. <laughs> it's a farm truck, so he beats the ever living hell out of it, and it yep. took it relatively well, but guess what? His head's lifted twice. Because mm -hmm. that's what happens with 6 4s. You hate to see it. Yep, I hate to see it. All right. 6 7 power stroke. Okay, now we're getting legit. Three. Two, one, C. S. Of course you picked S. Mm -hmm. Glenn has one. I, I do have one. I have Huge an 18. power stroke guy. They're great tow rigs. Things st stupid reliable. I got 120,000 miles on it now. No issues. It's, so it's yeah, it's it up there for truck. me. It, I put them as a C. And I don't, I like the truck. I like the engine. A C. I, hmm. I don't know. I kind of put them right in the middle. I, I was looking at my list and trying to evenly balance it yep. out. And I was like, yep. where do I put this one? I was like, bah. Let's put it right in the middle. There's really you know. nothing bad out there against them. They've been super strong. They've been pretty good. The yep. early ones had some issues with with rings, I think, right? Like the 15s, I thought, had a, Maybe? a piston ring issue. Yeah. So I, way back, that, the really, really early ones. That'd be like 2010 then, even to that point that with could, the 6.7s. Yeah, yeah, I'm not really sure. But either way, decent engines. The, the Illuma duties look really good. I like them. Banker likes them. He's built like Dude, 20 Banker of Banker makes you know. every video we do. Hey, yeah. just come say hi to the camera. Yeah, why don't you just walk through the set like you always do? Anyway, I don't know. I don't hate them. I don't love them. That's why I put them kind of right in the middle. And the early, I like the Illuma duties a lot more, the 15 plus. Yep. The early 6.7s were a little unique in style. You know. I, I can see that. Yeah, 17 plus. plus. Is 17 plus? I don't know. It's when they went to the cool headlights. That's all I know. That's all I need to know. <laughs> all right. Well, okay. When they went to the Illuma duty in 2017, then I'm about those. But you know, the early ones. Eh. Simmer down there, guys. They're okay. 
All, All right. right, next one. Moving Let's go. right along. We got the Duramaxes. We are into the GMs. And kicking it back very early, we're lumping these two together as the Detroit diesels. Yep. The early diesels that you could get from what, 82 to? 1980 to 2000, you had the 6.2 like and the 6.5s. Are you ready? Let's go. You can't lump them together. Yes, I can. One's turbo and one's not. Doesn't matter if one's turbo and one's not. They're both junk. <laughs> Three, two, one, F. F, F. F. I, I had F. that tied with the six, four, it's an F. <laughs> Every Big day. F. Listen, <laughs> listen, for the time they were okay. Uh, it's 2021. I've known a lot of guys with the six fives specifically, yeah. and they can go like a hundred miles, fix never it. Out of <laughs> Another couple hundred miles, fix it. Yeah. There's just, it's never a winning. Situation. They were, it was a very interesting time in GM history. I mean, they're you know? good when they're new for what? 50,000 miles on their. Yeah. So, uh, anything more to say about the Detroits? They're just a big no go. I just, I can't do it, man. I, I, Nothing against the truck body styles. No, truck just, body styles are fantastic. It's just the reliability. All right, moving on. Up next, we're lumping these three together as well. Technically they're different and I should know better than anyone, but we're gonna lump them together because they came in the same body style and so we're not here for 50 minutes. We're talking LB7, LLY, mm -hmm. LBC. So the Cat Eye Duramax uh, pickups. All 6.6 six liters. All 6.6, six six. yeah, from yep. here on out it's all 6.6. Six yep. Six. So LB7, LLY, LBZ. Ready? Three, two, one, <laughs> S. D. What? I, I was gonna say maybe C, but Get out of here. we're getting I to the next one I, that'll why, be a C. Why do I like this guy? It's, Oh, so as cool as they are and the power you can make with them, that's a big factor. They're awesome. Yeah. Nothing bad about that. But the reliability, I've heard of tons of issues through friends who've owned these older early 2000, mid 2000 diesels, the Duramaxes, and it's just, excuse me. they got issues. They're not nearly yeah. as bad as the 6.0 and 6.4 for issues, but yeah. they're, they got problems. The LB7 LOI was much worse. Yep. The LB7 had the had the injectors buried inside, yep. so you had to like take the whole head apart to get to it. That was miserable. They fixed that in the LLY, but then they decided to put a smaller radiator on them because it's not like people with diesel trucks tow or anything. Yep. You know? uh, and then the LBZ is like the holy yep. grail, and before I someone guess... roast me because I have one, they're they're okay, right? They're not yep. like. Ooh. We probably shouldn't have combined them all because they each had their flaws, some more than others. So yeah. that's where I was like, you know, C would be a mid range, but I was like, a couple of them brought it down. Yeah, it's it's, it's S tier for me for the only sole fact <laughs> that I own one. And if I didn't rate it an S tier, we, I mean, we got some issues. I mean, we both rated our current diesels at the S exactly. tier, so. I'll trade, I'll trade you. Uh -huh. I'm not going back to Duramax. We'll get on that topic next. Oh, okay, <laughs> moving nope. on then. All right, let's do LML first. Okay. Three, two, one, C. C? D, C, D, C huh, what? <laughs> Why? For me. I, I, I hate this body style truck. Okay. I shouldn't say hate. Body style. I know I get a ton of crap for it, but I can't rate this, this engine higher because I just don't like the truck. It, it's not the body's fault though. It's got a good engine in it. Yeah, it's, it's got okay. a good heart, come it's on. It's okay, right? The CP3 issues that they have. You can always put the new fuel pumps on, the upgraded you ones. You can always replace the heads on a six liter. That's a lot. That an F? That's a lot more than fuel pumps Listen, though. All right, whatever, go ahead. You know what, go Linda? <laughs> L5P. Oh, people. Way overrated. We'll just throw that oh, out there. Hey, hey, hey. So I've had let's one. Get into it All right, let's Ready? go. Three, two, one. C. A. Oh. A. 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 All day long. They're beautiful. Well, the engine's just an engine. Well, and the, and the truck is beautiful. They look I, good. They. I don't know. That truck to me, like your truck, fantastic. The it it was. Perfect. It was good overall. I want it. I well, want. I mean. Kind of, not that one in particular, but one like it, you know. It was it was decent. The power and torque was great, very similar. So was, I had an 18 L5P and I have an 1867 power stroke now. Yeah. Very comparable power and torque. Loved it, right? Yep. I went through on that Duramax, very low miles truck, five glow plugs. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> it was warrantied, but it's like 700 bucks per glow plug at a dealer. Why it was- Plug your truck in, Glenn. I did. I don't it's, it's a flaw in the L5Ps is glow right. plugs. So that's, that's I'm dinging them. 
because GM failed on the damn glow plugs. Jesus, Glenn. <laughs> uh, that's fair. I don't know. I again, and maybe I'm letting my the body style impact. I love them. My Absolutely love the looks. Boy, the body style in this truck They're, is so good with the split headlights. Yep. Like, oof. Great looking truck. Overall, great engine. Powers there. When you tune them, they're monsters. Correct. But glow plugs, come on, GM. It's, it's one <laughs> thing. Get together. One thing. One job. Yeah. Well, I mean, you got a lot of jobs, but when in terms of glow plugs, you have one job. You know. Five and under fifty thousand miles will piss you off. Yeah, I mean, that make me mad. That's too. time at the GM dealer. <laughs> I didn't want to be at. <laughs> cool. That's another episode of the tier list. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Glenn, for joining us. This was. Uh... I just felt like the effect of, you know. <laughs> there, I threw mine too. Does that make you, is that better? If you guys like what you see, make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we can keep making banging content just like this one. With that, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.